I'll give you one quick personal illustration because uh, this one's really still kind of cuts deep. When I was 17, my dad, when I told him I was going to be a speaker, he said that I want you to start filing every day, read and file every day. Because he said you have to have content. Content's keen. So keep reading and filing so that you always have something to say. So at the age of 17, I started the practice of reading and filing every day. Literally have done that all of my life up to 69. So, you know, that's a, that's a lot of years, 50 plus years of reading and filing. That's why thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of articles and, 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 and quotes and, and, and illustrations. Okay, because I've done it every day. Last summer... I, I just begun to look at my files. I mean, I have 1,200 plus subjects in my files. When my kids went to college, you name a subject, I got stuff on it. I mean, I was the librarian. And, and I've thousands, not hundreds, thousands of times while writing, I've gone over, pulled out my folder, pulled out an article, got that little man that works right here, and I just built off of that thing, put that back in, checked it, said I did it on this lesson. Whoop, boy, that was so good. I've done this thousands of times, thousands of times, thousands of times. And, and just this last summer, I began to look at that full, those filing cabinets and all of those folders, 1,200 plus. And I began to say to myself, if I'm going to grow into tomorrow, I need to let go of those. Now, I wouldn't tell anybody because that's everything to me. This is my, I, 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 I used to say, if there's ever a fire, let everything burn, just get my, get my files out. And I can live for another day. And all of a sudden, I'm starting to play with the idea of, of letting them go so that I literally cannot depend upon anything of yesterday but have to constantly learn and create and stay sharp today. And I remember going through that process I, I, for about two months. I, I would just go by, by, by my filing cabinet and look at it. And I'd say, am I willing to give this up? N didn't tell Margaret, didn't tell anybody. Because I knew emotionally how hard this was going to be for me. I came to the conclusion, okay, now this is, I came to the conclusion that I was outgrowing my resources. Because if you filed yesterday and you filed 10 years ago and you filed 20 years ago, if what you filed 20 years ago excites you when you pull it out today, you're in trouble. And I was outgrowing my resources and I needed to let go of yesterday if I really wanted to make tomorrow count. So I finally said, okay, this is going to be the day. Again, I told no one. Went to the room where my filing cabinets were Margaret was gone, and I spent about four hours going through every folder, crying. I, I, I could I, I pull out this folder, so I remember, when I, I remember when I put that article in there. Oh my gosh, I remember exactly what I thought when I did that. And I just looked at every one of them for four hours. And, and I, I also, there were some of them I thought, oh, this is too good to throw away, and I pulled it out. And I'd kind of go on and, and then I'd look over there and I'd see that on top of that filing cabinet and I'd say, oh no, put it back in, John. If you're going to let it go, let it all go. So four hours, I just went down memory lane and I hugged those folders. There are a few of them that I kissed. A lot of them had tears on them, and I put them all away. We lived in the condo at that time and at the Ritz, and so I called one of the bellmen down and gave him two hundred dollars. I said, "I'm going to leave for a couple of hours. When I come back, I don't want to see any of these filing cabinets." He said, "What do I do with them?" I said, "I don't care what you do with them. I don't want them anymore." Two hours later, I came back and. Uh, they were all gone. Then I sat on the floor and cried again. <laughs> like, oh, you stupid man. <laughs> but guess what? Today, I'm growing because I'm not relying on yesterday to get me through today. I'm, I'm not relying on it. I'm not relying.